I'm going to show you how to assemble a one door broom cupboard. This is quite a large cupboard, so at some stage you will need some assistance from someone when you're ready to stand it up and hang the door. The tools you're required to put this cupboard together include the cordless drill, tape measure, square, screwdriver, pencil, some masking tape, a hammer, and of course, you're gonna need the cupboard itself. This comes in two boxes. So we'll move a few things out of the way and let's get started. This cupboard is put together using cam locks and pins. Everything has been pre-drilled for you to make it easy to put together. The pins just go into the smaller holes, the cam locks in the large ones. The cam locks are the silver clips that go into the larger holes. You'll notice that on the edge of it is a little arrow. This arrow must always go to the outside of the piece because that will locate with the pin on the other pieces. And now we'll put some cam locks in this rail piece. So the next thing to do now is to attach the rail to the top panel. All the pieces have been pre-drilled and correspond with the locating pins. Once that's in place, we just twist the cam lock to lock it in. The next piece we're going to go with is the side panel. This is the side panel and it also has pre-drilled holes for the pins and the cam locks. So just do the same as we did for the top panel. You'll notice in this panel that there's some other pre-drilled holes. These are for the door hinges and will be put on later. The next step is to fix the top panel and the fixed shelf. There are pre-drilled holes in the edge of the panels and they just fit over the locating pins. And then we just tighten the cam lock. You'll notice there's a lot of pre-drilled holes in the fixed shelf. That's to enable for the sides of the cabinet to be held together and also to support the centre panel that will go in later. This panel now slips over the pins that are in the side panel and then just lock the cams off as before. The next piece we're going to put in is the middle panel. I'm going to roll it onto the front. That will make putting the back of the cabinet on easier. I'm going to put the cam locks in the middle panel. And then we just tighten off the cam locks. Now we're ready for the next side panel. I'll just rest it on top here and put my pins and cam locks in. So now we're ready to lift this side panel into place. And then tighten off the cam locks. So the next step is to put in the bottom panel. You'll notice on the bottom panel that there's pre-drilled holes on both sides. One side goes inside with our pins. The other is for the feet fixings. So we're now ready to put the bottom panel on. Remember, the white edges always go in the same direction. And then lock off the cam locks. You'll notice that the foot has a slight angle on one side. This goes towards the outside of the cabinet. All the holes have been pre-drilled to make it easy to line up. The next step is to put the adjustable feet in place and adjust them to the height. Set your set square up at 145 millimetres. That's the optimum height for the kickboard and will make levelling off later much easier. Now that we've got all the feet in place, we can put the back on. So now we're ready to put the back panel on. There's two colours to this. Always make sure that the white goes inside so that when you open the doors, all you see is white. We just lay the panel in and then we're going to nail into the rebate. So now the back is on, we can lift it up and hang the door. So the next step now is to put the door hinges on. 
The first thing we need to do is separate the plate from the hinge. We do that by pressing this button here and pulling the plate away. Now we can put the door hinge in the door. The door is pre-drilled to make putting the hinge in easier. The next step is to put the hinge plates on the cabinet. You'll notice on this cabinet that there's pre-drilled holes on either side. That's for the hinge plates. You can hang your door that it opens to the left or the right. We're going to hang our hinges on this side. Don't fix the plates off tightly at this stage because we may need to adjust the door up and down. The next step we're up to is hanging the door. You might find this a little bit tricky by yourself, so it might be a good idea to get someone to give you a hand. You may need to adjust the hinges at some stage. This is done at this point. The plate on the side adjusts the door up and down, and these other two screws adjust the door left or right. Now it's time to put the shelf supports in and the shelves. The shelf supports are little pins that have corresponding holes drilled in the sides of the cabinets. These just push in and then the shelves can sit on top. And then the shelf just simply slides in and rests on top of the pins. You can put in as many shelves as you wish at any height. And now we'll put the handle on the door. The measurements for the door handles are on the instructions. I'm just going to mark roughly where the handle will go in and put some tape on both sides. That way when I pre-drill with the drill, it's not going to chip out the laminate. Now we can drill the holes and put the handle on. And that's how we assemble a one-door broom cupboard.